your boy ended up finding a bunch of really awesome stuff to share today so we got a few things to cover i don't like want to spam your sub box with like multiple videos so we're going to cover a bunch of things the first thing that i wanted to share with you is a little update on the asus rogue alley that we made a video on the other day this is going to be asus's new handheld device this thing I'm, so the, the the article that we covered yesterday dude, it has like an external rtx 3090 or bleh, 4090 hello for a handout that's ridiculous it's ridiculous so anyways i just wanted to let you guys know that it is going to be apparently supposedly we do not know as of right now but it is going to be two times the speed of the steam deck uh linus ended up okay so here we go so linus made a video on this the other day as well which i thought was kind of cool because dude it is it's pretty sick so the architecture the apu and then like all the specs that we know about so far are right here. You guys can see it. I'm not gonna like read over every single one of those because I don't wanna make the video any longer than it needs to be. Second thing is the AMD Ryzen 7 7800X 3D gains nine to 12% performance in games thanks to optimizations. And this is MS, this was discovered in MSI's, it's like a leak. Um, so MSI's internal testing of the eight core Zen 4 CPU with 3D V cache has been leaked. Hardware leaker Chilled Chill Dog. I'm just saying Chilled Dog. There we go. Chilled Dog, who clearly has access to many of the MSI pre-launch materials, how now revealed what the company expects in terms of gaming performance. As we know, the SKU MSI determined that the optimization dude MSI dominated. Dude, like they're the past year, man, their motherboards have been so good. I really wish that I could just turn my computer around for you guys. There's so many ports on the back. And the freaking, dude, that's the first, that's literally the first, very first motherboard that I've actually been able to get four sticks of DDR5 RAM to 7,000 megahertz. And I've had this computer for three months now like two three months and it has not crashed one time i'm just saying dude that's ridiculous it's ridiculous so because we do oh so i saw this i didn't make a video on it but the other day i saw an article it's like we have ddr5 ram that's like at 8500 megahertz now it's ridiculous it's ridiculous um but anyways 90 12 percent whatever you can see this right here so we got the stock expo ddr5 with 6000 we got expo 6000 plus high efficiency and then we got enhanced boost mode three plus expo ddr5 can you see yeah you can ddr5 dude i hate it. i really do i hate ultra wide i have so like ultra wide problems it sucks because like dude, i wish that i could just like go over hold on i'm gonna because i think i can just hit control um I think I can hit control Z is what is the undo. You ready for this? Woo! Oh, where we go. And then back we go. So if I hit control Z, we go. Yeah, okay, there we go. Went back. Went back. So you guys see my problem. You can like understand why I ha I run into issues here. So, anyways, CPU is 78 30. What is the oh we got more down here? I didn't go down this far. So you got the MSI 4090. <laughs> dude, I can't hold the laughter in anymore. So, uh, so yeah, dude, we got the 102% with 6,000, 103, 104. I was just messing around with the 40. Obviously, the 4090 is the most OP graphics card ever. So we got the 7950X 3D. I'd prefer, I don't, dude, I don't know. I'm just... I'd prefer the, no. Okay, I didn't actually know that. Is that like the, okay, I'm gonna move on cause I'll forget. So I didn't realize it went that high. Cause that's almost the same speed as the 13900KS, not KF, KS is the whatever six gigahertz. 13900 um so this is the update on the rtx 4070 that's just going to be around the corner 
quote unquote, and this says the RTX 4070 leak confirms 5,888 CUDA cores, 12 gigabytes and 21 gigabytes per second memory. So the, the video, I thank you all for the support on this. I actually am dude. And like when I said 4070 TI was competing with the 3090, I like, I got a few comments down in the comment section. Like, I need you to keep in mind that when I said that it was for video games and yes, it is for the majority of video games because I'm fully aware that there are some titles out there now that are requiring that are requiring like ridiculous amounts of memory to play them. Like Hogwarts Legacy is the first one that comes to my mind. Like I, I forget what the amount of memory you need in your graphics card. The new, the new Last of Us as well. Um, I have a 3090, so I have 24 gigabytes, and I don't like the reason I got that is is because I'm literally i'm I, i'm a creator you know what i mean so like i'm always editing videos photos my animation channel like there's just a lot that i do as far as the creative side so anyways my point in saying that is that i i've seen a lot of people saying that the the new last of us on pc has a lot of like stuttering problems and that i'm guessing that that's due to the like people that are using the like a 3060 or a 3070 that just don't have the memory needed to actually run that game properly um, i'm not saying it's okay you know what i mean but anyways this is the comparison 4070 4070 ti the 3070 and the 3070 ti i think the 4070 is going to do great man just the way it was designed i think that it's going to do and yes i understand that 600 bucks is still expensive for a 4070 and this is why I tried to say it as in such a positive manner the other day, dude. Like, I'm not saying that I agree with this graphics card being $600. But what I what I was trying to, like, get through to people is that if we look at, like, what... And again, the, the 70 isn't out yet. But, like, if we look at the 4070 Ti and how that compares... Most, let's be really honest, most people are getting these kinds of graphics cards to play video games. The 90 series is totally different. Like the 90 is for like people that want to play games at the best of the best of absolute like maximum insanity or people like me that are doing creative things because the graphics cards like that in animation programs and 3D render programs in Cinema 4D like they benefit you a lot for the creatives but like most people that are just get that want to play games at a higher resolution and higher frame rate dude you don't really need anything past a 4080 like a 4080 ti is even a little bit overkill you know like and i'm and i'm saying this because i'm just going to take a wild guess that like i want to say like 10 percent of you have a 4K 240 hertz monitor. Because that's like, that's 4090 territory. If, because 40, I don't even think the 4090 would be capable of like 240 hertz. It may be if you dumb down the settings, but it, like, why would you be playing a game at low settings at 4K to achieve that kind of a frame rate? I, I personally here, like I would be like putting my, my graphics card settings like 4k, 120 or 140 Hertz, not dumbing down, the, but I'm just saying, dude, like I really do. I find stuff like this interesting. And the reason I said this the way I did the other day, man, is because if we do look at what you're spending and the performance that you've, that you're getting over the past. And yes, I understand this is like, of course the 4080 shouldn't be whatever I, I don't know where i'm going with this so i understand that like a 1080 compared to a 2080 compared to a 3080 and then a 4080 they for, except with the exception of the 40 series the 30 series were overpriced because of the crypto crap nvidia didn't really do that so the 40 series are just like it's just that's they're expensive period it's not because thousands of people are buying them up um and then relisting them online so anyways my point saying this is like yes i understand that for for 
previous generations of new graphics cards they've always been in a similar ballpark to price whereas this like this card jump is just like ridiculous it's like literally like two times the cost of everything across the board so i understand that stuff is expensive but when we look at the performance and the amount of like like uh, the amount that the performance has been increased six hundred dollars i do i do think that that's kind of fair and uh, before like i'm just like i think that most of you can kind of comprehend what i'm saying right now i'm not saying that i agree with the card being six hundred dollars but i also can like recognize that okay this is actually a really good card like this is a decent card like you're gonna be playing games at 4k with this easily you know at, with some settings adjusted but even at the same time i've only used a 4090 and a 4080 i haven't used the, the 4070 ti personally i have not gotten one of those yet i've done a 4090 build that i sold to somebody and then i also did a 4080 build with us so the the 4090 had a 13900k and then the 4080 had a 7700 and the builds are on the channel like you can go look at them um but anyways yeah your boy's got ADHD. I don't even remember what, but I'm going to end the video. I've been going on here for a couple minutes longer than that, actually. So yeah, catch you guys. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about this. Peace.